Welcome to the Beetle Garage. Today I checked the Pupas of Alomurina di Cotomo, Tripoxylus di Cotomus, one of the most, most famous beetles in the breeding scene, for, of course, especially in Asia, Japan, and so on. So I had, if you remember, um, two Pupas, 1st of April. I put them into this box, so it's time after three weeks to check whether they already have emerged. I put them in this kind of pit pots that you know already. Now let's see what happened. This is still a pupa of a male here. So I do just from outside, I wet a little bit and let it like this. Also, some more water. And, and this here, also. It's also still a pupa of a male and still living. So I also put them back here. Like this. So now I have another box. What have I written here? Pupas, two males and one female. So let's see what happens. Here. So the beetle jelly that I placed in here as a, an emergency food item when they are close is untouched so probably also here they have not yet a close so let's have a look. Yes but this is already a close now. Tari. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little male. I put it on a piece of melon so that it can eat a little bit. So, but you see, it's it still waiting inside the peat pot. It doesn't want to come out yet. It's, it's still waiting in here. Yeah, and it's... Uh, and the purple skin, you see it here on the bottom of the. It's ultra thin, and as you can see, this chitin is also a, a little bit flexible, so that's a perfect shield against all dangers of the environment. So now I want to crawl away here, this small male. Let's put it on a piece of of this melon. So, normally as soon as they start eating, you know, now the development um, is finished and they are ready for mating. So now we have more here. Let's see. Come on, stay here. Don't go away. We need you. Because we have a lot of females. So now look here. Oh, it just came out. Had some problem with the unfolding of the wings, or the folding of the hind wings, you can see that. Or still not yet finished, so I just leave it here and here. Probably it can rearrange that problem, if I do not disturb it too much. And then the third one, let's have a look here. Wow, also dear, this is a female. Just emerged. If we open it carefully, we just have a look inside. Here it is. So, wow, look here. It has finished eclosion completely. It has folded the wings underneath the elytras completely. So this is uh, perfect here. Came out wonderful. But also, this animal, it's just staying inside the pupil chamber. So I will put it together uh, with the male in a box where they can wait till the eclosion process is completely finished. I put this one in uh, the mail into this. So 
So that they can stay there. And here we wait till it closes and is finished. So we have another pair that could be ready. And then what I have, of course, is a lot of the beetles that have already closed. And you see them here. But you only see the males here, this one here and this one. And what you can see also is that they emptied all the beetle jellies that I have presented them here. Now let's see, we have to add, of course, more of these beetle jellies for the females that are still in here. And of course I have to take out the males first. They are already Normally they don't dig into the substrate, they just wait uh, for a female to appear and then of course they mate with this female. Oh, well, there's another one, this is a little bit bigger. Two nice males of Olumurina dichotoma. So now, where are the ladies? Uh, I have to pay attention that they don't go away. So I put these two into the So now let's see where the ladies are. And I prepared already some 22 liter boxes for the egg laying. So now you can see where they are. One, two, three, four. Four of them are already here. Here's another one. Here's another one. Six, five, six. So we have a lot of ladies in here. And I think after nearly one month they should have uh, made it already. And I can try to prepare them for egg laying in a box like this. I have compacted the material on the bottom, finely ground, and then on top some leaves. And you know that they do not fly around. Uh, the females, as soon as they have made it, they dive down into the substrate to lay their eggs. So we don't have to present them a big space uh, on the top, but we have them a big volume of the good substrate for egg laying. So that would be uh, enough. Also, if we have this uh, lid here, um, very closely on the surface, it is no problem. The beetle can crawl around and dive down or come up and eat something from this beetle jellies that I present here. And if you want, you can add here for the first two, three weeks a male. But what I do, I just put in the female here. And because I think that she has already made it and she will now dive down into the substrate and if not I can present her this little male but this one I will change in about one week because the male I need probably also for other females I have a lot of females but I have not so many males so that's it just close it like that I have seven uh, or eight boxes that I have prepared for this, so that's a lot of work. And if we're happy, they will lay some eggs here and we can see what happened in around two months. So that's about June. Hope to see you then when we come back to Olomurino di Chautomo. Thanks for watching. <laughs>